Hi, everybody. This is Kelly Williams with The Kelly Williams Show in Bay Area Houston Magazine. And it's time for The Kelly Williams Show. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for today. And I know you can tell why. But uh, first of all, we are live right here at the legendary Prince's Hamburgers in Houston, Texas, where, you know, the slogan is, it's fit for a king. Well, today, Princess Hamburgers is fit for the queen because we've got the newly crowned Miss USA 2022, Arbany Gabriel, everybody. <laughs> Woo! So excited. Hi, Arbany. Hello. Thank you for having me here. I love this location. I know. Isn't this fun? <laughs> this is awesome. Well, I'm, I'm so excited to have you here. You know, we got to have a really fun interview right after you won Miss Texas. Um, and it was it was so much fun to really find out so many little details about you because um, I've known you for the past two or three years. Yes. But I'm going to tell you, I learned so much fun information about you and what an incredible young lady you are. I'm excited for even more people to see this interview and find out how incredible you are. I just I just love it. I'm so excited. OK, so, do you know, you are the fourth. Miss USA that I've gotten the privilege to interview. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm excited today. But the really great news is that you are the 10th Miss Texas to be crowned Miss USA. So that is amazing. Um, how does that feel? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's an incredible, <laughs> incredible feeling. I am on cloud nine. I'm still in disbelief. I'm about two weeks in as Miss <laughs> USA, but I am so thankful for this opportunity. I really am. I just cannot believe it. It's it's amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, that's a huge deal. Texas has not had a Miss USA in, I think, 14 years. Yes, 14 years. So that's a long it, time. It feels good. Yeah, yes. it does it's feel good. It's about time. It <laughs> is about time. And we are so excited that you're it. I'm, I can't tell. I can't tell you enough. Okay, so, you know, so few people understand that as soon as you're crowned Miss USA, it is a full-time job. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's really kind of funny because right after you're crowned, tell us what happens. It's it's this almost whirlwind stuff that happens to you that you start doing. Yes, it is a whirlwind. Right after you're crowned, <laughs> you're still on stage and you immediately go into pictures. And I think that takes about. 30 minutes to an hour and I was searching for my parents. I don't think I saw them until, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or an hour later and we only got to interact a little bit because they made me go to bed the night I was crowned. They said, you need to go to bed. You're very excited, but you have a photo shoot the next day. So you immediately get to work. We had the official Miss USA headshot photo shoot the next day in Nevada. So fun. And oh. then you get swept away and I flew to LA and that's when I moved to LA with my 10 suitcases that I packed. <laughs> oh my goodness, 10 suitcases, I love it. I'm like, okay, so you're already, are you already moved to LA? I am technically moved there, but I'm in the process of moving more of my stuff because I need more than 10 suitcases <laughs> yeah. to live in LA. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, okay, so when you get to LA, is there gonna be a sewing machine and lots of bolts of that clothes? I mean, material in your apartment? Oh, you know it, yes. I have to bring my sewing machine. I have a beautiful apartment in the K-Town area of LA. It's part of the prize package. So but exciting. I'm going, thank you. And I'm gonna have my own little studio set up. I have to bring it everywhere I go. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we'll be excited to keep up with what you're making. Yes. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, so um, one thing that I know a lot of people saw your interview outfit at Miss USA was unbelievable. Thank you. Now, you designed that, and did you make it? I made that. Let me tell you, that interview outfit took me all month. I was rushing to get it done. I made the collar a couple of times. <laughs> so a little bit of backstory on that interview outfit. I wanted to pay tribute to my parents and how much they have supported me in my Aww. life and in this pageant journey. So my parents actually got married in the Philippines. So my mom has this wedding dress that's non-traditional. She had flowers, like blue flowers all over it. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, so I wanted to take those same the same flower pattern and I put that on the <laughs> sleeves of my interview outfit. I painted Amazing. it. Amazing. Amazing, she painted it. <laughs> It's incredible. Thank you. Um, it it looks stunning. I mean, it was shocking. Well, not to me anymore because I know how talented you are. 
But it's crazy for people to see and go, I'm sorry, wait, she made, she designed that and made it? <laughs> Who does these things? It's, it's incredible. And what a tribute, what a wonderful way to thank your parents and give them a little shout out at Miss USA um, by designing something like that. That is really sweet. What did they think of it? Oh, they loved oh my it. Gosh. And they were there in the studio with me sometimes. My mom would come over and help me with my laundry while oh. I would be sewing. And that was such a challenge to make wow. that outfit because the construction was something I never did before. And my mom was there every step of the way, kind of working out the kinks with me and everything. So I know she feels really good that it finally happened because we were concerned <laughs> it might not make it to Miss USA. Because, well, you didn't have that long to get no. ready for Miss USA and you made stuff together yes. <laughs> okay so that was that was crazy quick turnaround incredible it was phenomenal really there's nothing like it Thank I, have you. people offered to buy it yes yeah, so there's been a few inquiries i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet because it's so special to me i love to sell my designs but this one is very personal so i'm yeah. not sure yet <laughs> yeah Ooh, i'm excited okay so you won the costume contest um, I'm sorry, that, that is a huge feat in itself. And tell me about, you were a bl Texas Blue Bonnet. Yes. Where did that inspiration come from? How do you decide on what costume you're going to wear and how was it designed and who made it? So the Texas Blue Bonnet, that's our Texas state flower. So I thought it was only fitting to represent Texas that. in that way because the Blue Bonnet, it's a flower, but it's unique yeah. and it, the colors are so pretty. So I knew I wanted to be the Texas Blue Bonnet, but add kind of a glamorous, fashion-forward twist to it. So it's, it's a little bit abstract. When you look at the costume, you might not guess Blue Bonnet at first. <laughs> it was very cool. Yeah. So the designer is actually from the Philippines, it's Patrick oh. Isarina. I sent him my ideas and the concept, and I said, do what you want with this. I trust your vision. And I sent him a few sketches, and from there, he, he brought it to life. And we wanted an element of surprise. So that's Amazing. what we did. There was a big cape, and then I revealed the costume. I took the cape off, and then when I turned around, there was another element of surprise where I lit up on stage. I hit the button on the <laughs> side, and the lights lit up. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you. Okay, so you, you came up with this concept and then sent it to him, and he put it together for you. Yes. So kind I of mean, a collaboration. How, I mean, really, how does that feel, though, to be able to wear your creations and see them come to fruition and wear them on stage at Miss USA. That's I'm, incredible. Yes, it's so it's such a fulfilling feeling when you see a vision really come to yeah. life and being able to collaborate with somebody all across the world. Wow. I mean, he was in the Philippines. We had different time zones and <laughs> we're communicating through messages and the Internet. And sometimes the call would even fail. So oh. it, I'm so glad. <laughs> Don't to cut the. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> it's so great that it actually came together in the end. Oh, it, it was in, it was incredible. It was, it was spectacular. This is the only really word for it. Amazing. Thank and you. And the boots were very cool. Oh, thank you. The yeah. blue were those oh I found my. online. Oh my so. gosh, <laughs> that was very interesting. Okay, so a lot of people do not know that Miss USA pageant is not just one day where you see them on stage. It is like a week or two. It was nine days. Nine whole days. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so tell us what is it like as soon as you get there, and what are your days like? Because they're that's pretty nonstop, correct? Yes. So they have a full schedule for all of us contestants. We have a official check in, and we make a big deal about it where we have our arrival outfit, and I actually made that outfit as well. Of course you did. <laughs> I love that. I yes. love it. <laughs> Thank you. But our full <laughs> schedule is what we were at the Grand Sierra Resort yeah. so they had golfing there we had axe throwing oh and fun. it's really a way for us to get to know each other because I mean there's women from all 51 <coughs> states including District of Columbia so that makes 51 states and we all bring something to the table all these women are dynamic they're very successful in their career field so it's a whole week of us getting to know each other and really yeah. building that sisterhood yeah I love that were, were there any contestants that that had a funny um, personality or, or that you that you remember specifically were just kind of humorous? 
Yes, actually, Natalie, Miss Nebraska, she is so funny. I actually voted for her for Miss Congeniality Aww. because she would always make me laugh. I love that girl. That is fun. Okay, so, you know, um, training. Once you win a state pageant, your training does not stop. It actually probably increases because you're really honing in on how to be on that national stage. What, was, what were the two weeks like? leading up to Miss USA on your training, your walking. I mean, you know, peop, it, you, you ladies make it look so easy on stage, <laughs> all these turns and walking, but it, it comes with a lot of experience and practice and making it look easy. Yes. Um, how many hours do you spend on training and walking and interview and just really getting ready when you, you know? Um, how many hours? I'm not sure because two weeks, um, leading up into the pageant, you're training sunrise to sunset. As soon as I wake up, it's immediately into training, whether that's doing cardio or journaling, maintaining a level-headed mindset, or I would go to the tailors. I think I went to the tailors almost every day, getting those outfits to fit right. And then I would walk every day in my heels, yes. whether that's in the studio, in front of a mirror, or even just around my apartment, I would walk. Yeah, or to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> to the grocery store. Anytime I can be in heels because you just want to be comfortable and we're in yeah. heels every single day. Exactly. That is crazy. <laughs> um, how long were the days at Miss USA? You know, they they were pretty long. I feel like they went by so fast because yeah. we were having so fun, so much fun, but they were long. We would wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. and not go to bed until about midnight. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so much fun though, isn't it? Yes. It's incredible. Okay, um, you know, although you have only been crowned two weeks, does it feel longer than that? I don't <laughs> know how to explain it. It feels like it feel a like lifetime. It was yesterday? And it yeah. feels like a life. It feels like a lifetime, and it feels like it was yesterday, <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah. Because it's so fast paced. It's amazing. What organizations have you already gotten to work with and and do some things with since being Miss USA? Well, actually, at Miss USA, we had a Best Buddies event, which was really fun oh, because... I love that. Yeah, we did bowling with the Best Buddies. And I'm looking forward to doing more with Best Buddies because yeah. they partner with Miss USA. Yeah. Oh, yes. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> okay. So, Magpies and Peacocks. Oh, Were yes. they just going crazy? Yes, <laughs> of course. Now, they're going to really miss you mm -hmm. this next year yes. because you're not going to be here. But um, are you going to be collaborating with them at all? Um, you know, because that is your platform, sustainability and, and reusing things, uh, materials. Is that something you'll be able to keep doing while Miss USA? Or, or what are you going to be doing with that? Yes, so for I've been with Magpies and Peacocks for two years. Yeah. And I've been teaching sewing yeah. classes and working in the studio, upcycling all the designs and yeah. fabrics that they have. So I physically can't be there anymore. But I will always be involved in them involved with them in some way or form because they have so many projects yeah. they have an annual fundraiser there's runway shows and i want to collaborate on pieces for them and put those in production oh. so i'll always be involved in some way <laughs> yeah. i love that i yeah. love it now are you going to make anything to wear at miss universe have you decided that yet yes i know i absolutely want to make <laughs> at least a few outfits yeah. i have to carve out time in one way or another yeah. yes carving out time is miss usa time. that's a whole nother show absolutely okay um you know arbany what do you think you know now that you've been through um winning miss texas winning miss usa it's so much work and your work has paid off for you and it's it's so inspiring to see what do you think these pageants and working this hard has taught you about yourself well it's taught me a lot of discipline when i look back at these last two years i gave a lot of distractions away and i really just buckled down and my main focus was this pageant journey and miss usa and going to miss universe and 
people always say if you cut out the distractions and you focus on that one goal you can really make it happen and you'll be surprised at how much you can achieve in a short amount of time yeah. and that is really what my message to everyone else is this dream of mine to become Miss USA and go to Miss Universe seemed impossible on day one it seemed like a crazy thought <laughs> but I really eliminated my social life I yeah. I missed out on family functions I mean I moved closer to my job in my gym so I was five minutes away from them wow. just to be more efficient yeah my Friday nights were always by myself in the studio with a podcast or a YouTube documentary on because I was so focused on that goal and it was revolutionary for me it really changed my life I I'm tell you and and what's so you know important for other young ladies to hear who may have this dream is that when you really want something you you learn that it's okay to be giving some things up and it's almost a necessity yes. um, to, to focus on that goal and get it done and it's just um, it's just really inspiring how much you did how much work you did um, to reach these goals and it's just something for so many young women to really look up to um i love that and you're very transparent about it you know how hard it is it's very hard it's a you know, lot you don't of go, sacrifice oh, you know, this, I it is a lot of sacrifice and it's good for people to know because i, I think, think that's so. what's missing in a lot of young lives today Yes, I think so, especially you know? with social media. Yes. I mean, we, we see the photo shoots and the glamorous lifestyle, but I love to show the behind the scenes work that takes to get to that point. So people can be inspired and know, hey, I can do this too, and this is how you do it. Absolutely. Um, it, it's just, it's the facts, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you doing right now to start getting ready to compete at Miss Universe? So right now, because I am two weeks in, it's kind of the planning phase on yeah. how am I gonna go about the outfits yeah. and scheduling in the walking training and the makeup and thinking about the gowns. So right now, a lot of planning and just looking at my next two months and carving out time for each and everything possible. Have you, so, so you're in the planning phase. How many, do they tell you how many outfits you're gonna need already? Do you already know all that information yet? I'm not sure, but I had 30 <laughs> outfits for Miss USA, so I'm thinking at least double, maybe 60. I'm thinking at least double, yeah. That, how, how long is the Miss Universe pageant for y'all? I'm is hearing it like about two weeks. Yeah, I'm hearing about two weeks. Okay. So I'm thinking three outfits a day plus a backup, <laughs> and then and then some. So. Exactly. I love it. I love it. I'm moving in. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. Are you gonna take anything sentimental to Miss Universe? Well, one thing I take is my journal, of course, and I always bring a book that I'm reading. What I took to Miss USA was Live Your Dreams by Les Brown because Aww. I can just open a page up and get really motivated about it. I love that. And I love to take my galaxy light. So it's a light that projects stars onto the ceiling, and it makes me feel like I'm at home. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That probably helps you sleep a little bit, doesn't it? Yes, and my roommate, roommate at Miss USA, she loved it, and she actually yeah. bought one herself. Oh, I love it. Okay, so who was your roommate at Miss USA? It was Morgan from Miss uh, Wyoming. Aww. She was super sweet. Love her. Fun. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> what country do you um, would you love to see? And I know you love everybody, but <laughs> is there any specific country you would love to room with at Miss Universe? It would be really amazing to room with Miss Malta because I've met her before. She oh visited here in Texas and I got to have dinner with her. Oh so my goodness. So it would be great goodness. to room with her. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my goodness. That's <laughs> exciting. Okay. So right now, I've got, I asked a couple of my viewers what question, if they had a question and were able to ask Miss USA one thing, what would it be? And okay. I chose a couple of them. They're really fun. So. First of all, the first question is from Beth Graves. Beth said, if you could dress anyone, who would it be? Beyonce, why? Because she's from Houston. She is an amazing, amazing woman and I love her work ethic, work ethic and what she's done with her career. I love that. The next question picked was from Shane Cole. Shane asked, who has been your biggest influence? Oh, so many. I would have to say my dad right now because he really instilled in me what hard work means and yeah. what you can do with that. And 
both both of my parents really love you, Mom, too. But I'm always working hard to make them proud. <laughs> oh, I know you do. I know you. And it was so sweet at your Texas send-off party oh, when yes. your daddy got up there and said, "If she wins, I'll be the daddy of Miss USA." Yes. I mean, it's so <laughs> precious. I know how excited and proud they are. Okay, so <clears throat> what country would you like to travel to that you've never been to? I have never been to South America. I would oh. love to go to Costa Rica. I oh. hear the surfing is really good there. Oh. I would love do you to surf? do that. I try to surf. What? I was going, Beginner wow. surfing. Here, okay. Oh, okay. So if you I get to go, it. call me. I want to go there too. Okay. I'll go with you. And I don't surf, but I'd like to try to surf we too. We can do lessons together. I would love it. I would love it. Okay. So one question. Are you scared of anything like bugs or snakes or does anything like that scare you? Scare me? Mm, I'm really Or make you go, <laughs> Right now, I am scared to get in elevators again because oh, I, no. I think I told this oh. story to you, but I got stuck in an elevator with by myself without a phone. Yes. So I'm, I've been in elevators since then, but it makes me really nervous. Yeah, that is, that, that is very kind of creepy and scary. Yes. Um, but you did get a lot of work done there, you said, in the elevator, or, or came up with something. Well, I sat alone with my thoughts and reflected on uh, my right. life. You so. had time off. Yes. <laughs> that's right. I love that. Um, okay. If there's one piece of advice that you would give other young women who really want to follow in your footsteps, what would it be? I would say unlock your personal, unique greatness. This is something I tell everybody. We all have something special to offer to the world that's Absolutely. unique to ourselves. For me, it's being a designer, a model, and a sewing instructor. And I have done the inner work and I've tried a lot of things. I've applied myself to sports and music and design to find what really makes me special. So my message to everybody else is to continue to apply yourself and find what you have to offer to the world that can be your greatness. I, I love that because <laughs> like we've talked about, too many, especially young women, focus on trying to be so much like somebody else yes. instead of finding what is special about them. So I absolutely love that. And you were such a great role model for that, Arbany. I love it. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. <laughs> When is Miss Universe? January 14th, oh right around the goodness. corner. So it's going to be here before you know it. Yes. Um, how can people watch it? Do you, do you know that yet? I'm not sure the actual, uh, I'm not sure yet, actually. Okay. I'm sorry, We're, but no, no, no. please it, it tune is in early. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, how can we follow you on social media so we can make sure we keep up with all your exciting things happening? Yes, please follow me on social media at Miss USA or at Arbony Nola. That's R-B-O-N-N-E-Y-N-O-L-A. I'm going to be posting my journey, appearances, events, behind the scenes training, designing my outfit. So a roundabout of everything I will be doing. I love that. Okay, I, I wanted to ask you this at our first interview, but where does the word Nola come from? Well, Nola is actually my great great aunt's middle name, and I'm that's my middle name. I so. love that. Yes. I did not know that. And I thought I'm gonna ask her. I love that. How special. It's that very it's a namesake. special. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Oh. I love that. And Miss Universe is in New Orleans. Uh, do you know what is so funny? I thought, Nola, this is New Orleans. We, I kept thinking, is she? Is it because she likes New Orleans, Louisiana? Because I'm from Lake Charles, so, you know, uh, oh, yes. Louisiana. So I'm going, yeah, there's a little maybe Louisiana thing happening here. I love that. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, okay, Arbany. So um, what what does the, the rest of your schedule right now look like as Miss USA getting ready for Miss Universe? Getting ready for Miss Universe right now, I'm in that transition phase of packing all my stuff up and moving to mm. LA while continuing to train, whether that's in person with yeah. coaches or on Zoom. Every day is different and I'm just kind of taking it day by day, but making the most of every day because those days are valuable leading up to Miss Universe. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm exhausted just listening to all Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look so good. You always look so good. Thank you. Uh, okay, Arbany, I cannot thank you enough for coming and here to Prince's Hamburgers, yes. a legend. And so we got two legends today. Um, and spending time and really talking to us about 
a lot of fun things that are going on and what it's like to be Miss USA. Um, it's really exciting and we're so proud of you. Um, it's just crazy to think it's already happened and now you're getting ready to compete at Miss Universe. I know, I, I'm still in disbelief. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't even know how you, do you wake up and just go, okay, wait a minute, I'm, I'm Miss USA. <laughs> Yes, I have to tell myself that. I said, be thankful for this. I feel like my year is going to go so quick. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it will. And, of course, this crown is phenomenal. Yes. Um, now, this is... This was created just like a couple of years ago, wasn't it redesigned? Yes, that's a Mawad Power Positivity Crown. Wow. Very special. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and you look, you look gorgeous in it. Thank you. Okay, I just want to tell you that you are a huge inspiration to so many in Texas. Honey, we are so proud that we've got the Miss USA crown back in Texas. <laughs> and uh, and we're about to have the Miss Universe crown. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, I, we don't even need fingers crossed. Um, it's so exciting. We're so excited for you. We're gonna watch your journey. We're gonna be cheering you on every step of the way. Thank you for all of your hard work and everything that you do. Um, for the community, for now the country, in this, our state. And um, we're just so proud of you and so excited. Thank you. You <laughs> and everyone else, the support is the reason why I work so hard. Yeah, well, it's paid off and we're so <laughs> proud of you. So, guys, make sure you follow Arbany on her social media and stay up to date with everything she's doing as Miss USA and Arbany. And you can actually go online and order some of her items that are on your shirt on your uh, for your clothing yes. that you've designed. What is the website? That is arbanynola.com. So I have t-shirts and handmade designs and dresses that I have. I have a few mm -hmm. sizes left. I'm going to be restocking soon, but I've been selling out of pieces since Miss USA happened. Oh, it's I'm a sure. a huge blessing. Oh, yeah. And you'll have to wait till after she wins Miss Universe to ask her to start designing for <laughs> Yes, <you>. please. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, well, we cannot thank you enough. This has been so much fun. Thank you. So proud of you. You look amazing, um, even the, with this hectic schedule. I love it, though. I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> well, we're excited. Okay, guys, please um, follow Arbany on her social media and cheer her on with us all as she gets ready to compete for Miss Universe this January 14th, is that correct? Yes. In New Orleans, Louisiana. And thank you, Princess Hamburgers, for hosting this show today. We're so excited. Guys, you can catch the Kelly Williams Show every week right here, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we hope you have an awesome and blessed rest of your day. Go USA!